Hey, this is Duor. Uh, just wanted to show a video of the 95% finished product, uh, my super gun. And uh, so take a look here. Uh, this was uh, professionally powder coated and then used some vinyl graphics. And uh, I learned a lot. I actually restored a, an arcade cabinet that I got um, a couple years ago and learned a lot about jam the JAMA standard. So when I built this, um, I had acquired about eight arcade PCBs. Unfortunately, my, my arcade cab was a vertical cab um, that I didn't want to rotate the monitor. And I had a bunch of horizontal games. So I really started this because I just wanted to be able to play these games and not having successfully got a horizontal cab, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna build my own. And so that's what I did. I'll, I'll go over some quick overview on, on what it has and then uh, show uh, some size comparison and then at the very end show it in action running a game. So the first thing, the uh, originally this used to be a satellite box from 2005. It was a direct TV satellite box that I almost junked. It was in my garage. And here's how it actually looked when it was on top of my TV back in uh, the mid 2000s. Um, so it had a plastic piece in the front. Couldn't use that. There was too many holes in it. Um, so that's why I used the plexiglass. There was metal behind. Um, so everything that you see cut out, I also had to cut through a thin layer of metal. So it wasn't easy uh, to get to look the way I wanted it to. And uh, when I wanted to build this, trying to find a project box and didn't really find anything. Um, I know people build these very small. Building my first super gun, uh, if you're wondering why is it so big, uh, it, because of two reasons. One, I had this uh, direct TV satellite already available to use, so it was gonna not cost me anything to use it. And two, when I was designing it, I wanted to fit the arcade boards on top of this device. So um, now the bare, uh, the bare arcade boards, obviously you don't want them touching metal and this plate, the, the cover is metal on the top. So the intention was to use the, you know, some feet or some sort of stand. So those could just go on here directly. Um, but with CPS2, which is, well, I was really interested in playing on, on the TV, um, it has a plastic enclosure. So I didn't have to worry about that when playing CPS2. So I could put the um, boards directly on top and not have to worry about that. So um, I'm gonna go over what uh, some of the different inputs on here. So on this, uh, what you see first here is a, a temperature gauge, digital temperature gauge. There's a LED power light there. And this is plexiglass on the very front here. So I had that cut to fit. And I also tinted the plexiglass um, so that, uh, just to give it a, a different look, um, there is actually a digital voltmeter and it's kind of hard to see it, but you can kind of make it out just barely right there. You'll see that light up when I boot it up. Um, but you can't really see it until it lights up, which is pretty cool. And it's behind the plexiglass, so, um, so that's kind of neat. This I put on the outside and uh, so the rest of the connectors here, we got the player three and four adapter, uh, player one, two, three, four for the joysticks, and wired to Neo Geo standard plus capability to have the kicks, the external kick harness, and I've already made a cable for Tekken, and I'm in the process of making a cable for um, CPS2. If I decide to build one or I'm debating just, just buying one, so we'll see. JAMA connector and then the RGB pots. So um, that's just a nutshell what it looks like. Here is an A plus B port, and I would put it like this on the connector. And so it was designed so that I could still access the volume up, down, the test button, and then the JAMA connector goes right there. Okay, so here is also a JAMA cable that I made, and uh, Grant, again, I got a lot of, I can't really take a whole lot of credit um, on making these. I got the information, uh, you know, James helped me find out that these awesome connectors are on JAMA boards. Currently, they're sold out, 
So I'd hope they come out with some more because I'd like to use some more. Um, but I built that. And I also have a kick harness that I'll show for tech and possibly later. We actually made, I shortened one of these to fit the kick harness. But anyways, this is going to connect right into here. And then this guy is going to connect right into the A board. I'm just going to plug that in like here. And then the concept is it just sits right on top. And uh, so I'll plug in the control port here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my super gun. And we'll boot it up. Now, the fan is going to be really loud. So I'm going to mute the audio here so I can still talk. But you can kind of see how it looks when it's connected. I'll bring this forward. So let's go ahead and fire that up. Okay, so here it is fired up. Now, um, one other thing about the super gun, there is a fan that's actually built into the unit. It's pretty quiet, unlike the CPS2 fan that is going now. And the temperature gauge helps me keep an eye to make sure that it's not going to overheat. And you can see uh, right here it's 78 degrees and 5.19 volts. And that's adjustable with the knob right here where I can turn it down, turn it up, and uh, you know dial it in just right for the board. Um, there's a power LED. And uh, you know again, it, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can see the digital meter when it's turned off. I mean, you can kind of make that out. Um, but it's just really neat when it first lights up. It, it's a you know pretty uh, significant difference, and uh, and that's why I chose the the plexiglass. Okay, so what's next? Uh, obviously, getting a video of it running uh, board on my 32 inch Sony CRT. Uh, I, I, it works amazing. I've already tried it out with the uh, the eight JAMA boards I have, and now CPS2, which I'm just stoked. I mean, it's just total locked on memory lane. Of the of the '90s for me, arcade X Men versus Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter Alpha One, Two, Three, um, just all the. I just can't wait uh, to pick up some more boards. Uh, I'm I'm new to this. It's it's kind of dangerous. I'm a little scared, but a lot of fun. Um, I mentioned earlier the kick harness I made for Tekken. So here's again the JAMA harness, and I took one of these guys. And I shortened it and I made a smaller version. This is for Tekken because you can see there's the, it's kind of like a miniature version of this. And so this goes into Tekken and that becomes my kick harness. And so you can see right here, it's going to plug right into there. And then this would go right into Tekken right on top. So that was that. And I'm going to put um, a nice cover like this. I just need to get a smaller one. This just doesn't look as nice, but it works. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video on the this run. Now, I actually have a Tekken 2 board on here. And I'm actually using a Neo Geo controller. And I uh, wired this actually up so that these two are going to be punch and these are going to be kick. Um, because I haven't finished my... I got a bunch of joysticks, but I have to rewire one for DB15. This is mainly my primary super gun controller, and this is my pad. But um, this one's ready to go right now. Um, you can see the super gun, the kick harness is hooked up, and there's Tekken 2. There's a piece of plastic in between the, the um, super gun. But anyways, we're just going to test that out. The CPS2 fan is just way too loud, so as soon as that new fan comes in, I'll do another video of that, but just want to do a demo. Finally, I just want to again say thank you to, to James from Jamination X. 
a huge uh, uh, resource of information on his website. Um, and uh, he answered all, he was very patient with uh, probably the stupid questions I had in the beginning um, and helped me for sure uh, with the technical information on how to build a super gun. If you're not able to build your own, you might want to reach out to him and see if he's still able to build one for you. I've seen his super guns uh, been, been reviewed before and they, they look amazing. So highly recommend, again, check his website out and a big thank you to him. Thanks.